I just bought a Nintendo dealer's personal collection. Well, actually I didn't, my team bought it and I have no idea what is inside of these five boxes from Sweden across the globe. Then Elpel made me a list of details about this guy, including writing the book on Super Nintendo in Sweden. And as we open up box one, just to give you an idea of who we're dealing with here, these are a couple pictures that he sent of his history and uh, dealing in Nintendo games in Sweden and- He was the youngest Nintendo dealer ever. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, El Pal said he started at 15, uh, which is amazing. Like had a Nintendo store and was doing all sorts of things. Sounds like one of the biggest stores in Sweden for video games. And this is a lot of his personal stuff. And apparently there's some gifts in this first box. They've ordered the boxes for me to open here. So he still has a game store. Dang, these are sweet. Look at that. Little Mario classic 8-bit shirt right there. Love that. What does it say on the side? Retro oh, play. Retro Play. Is that his store? Yes. Let's go. Shout out Retro Play in Sweden. We'll have to go there. <laughs> How awesome would that be? <laughs> I'd love to go to Sweden. Um, okay. Right away. This is how you know he was legit. Which part? This. <laughs> he was a dealer. Only dealers got oh. this. Oh. Oh. I didn't know what was inside of here. <laughs> <laughs> this says SNES display boxes. So these are OG, like OEM SNES yes. display boxes? Dang. Look at that. I had this game as a kid, Tetris Attack. Yeah, you see it says Ooh, four display only. I do see. So these were never folded I, up. I had, I've had one of these before for uh, Super Mario Kart. Dang, yeah, they're all four display only. And all of this that Gosh, we have in this cool. collection is US. You can't, deal with, you US. can't deal with US stuff, so. Okay, so that's part of the reason he sold to us then. That is legit. Uh, did we, how did this, were the, are these gifts? Uh, or did we buy these? Yeah, we, these we are paid, awesome. We paid a little bit for them. All right, yeah. I was gonna say, these are, you said there were some gifts in here. Was it, I was like, that would be extremely uh, generous. Okay. There's the, is this the book? This is his book. Dang. He wrote it with one other person. That is crazy. Look at that thing. That is a giant book. Where's Jen's? Two Chase, thanks for the deal. Good luck in the future. Looking forward to doing business with you. Jen's. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Look at this. That thing is beautiful colored. Yeah, it's too bad we don't speak the language, but <laughs> it's yeah. super cool. Yeah, so, Should this be one of the first entries on our show? Oh, this is what he sent us. Look at that. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have to snap more of these, these photos on the screen because he sent us a very uh, detailed thing about his, oh, this is my favorite. Look at That's that. my favorite picture, man. That is like 350 Nintendo 64s stacked. So we'll have to put this up on our gift shelf from yeah, viewers. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So up there. Yeah, don't know why those are there, but. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like Alpel put those up there. Hey, look, cool. <laughs> Hobby Shop Ron, okay. Well, okay, I'll give it that, but I've got some actual like other cool stuff from Hobby Shop Ron. Okay, but now let's get to the games, which I'm super, super excited about. What is this? This is our uh, detailed list, so don't look at that. Okay. That's everything that's in here. All right. Holy mercy, we got some GameCube to start. Is that? So I, th I don't think that's that not they're... sealed. Okay, no. that's like a poly bag. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna I was say, like, I'd be shocked if those were sealed. <laughs> Animal Crossing, Resident Evil Four, Beautiful Joe Two, Luigi's Mansion. Now I gotta open this up. Looks like just kind of regular condition, no manual, not too shabby. Bait and Kaidos. Ooh, and then Metroid Prime Trilogy. And as we go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna guess, I have not, genuinely guys, I haven't seen any of the price charting info, any of it. I'm gonna guess the top 10 most valuable items. This, I think, is the most valuable item I've seen so far. So anything that I think is over 100, I'm gonna put over here for now. And then the top shelf, I'll put my top 10. And we'll see how right I am in the end. But we got Mario Power Tennis, Alien Hominid, pretty uncommon GameCube game, Beautiful Joe 2. GameCube is my favorite system of all time, so I love seeing this stuff. And a lot of these games I did not have as, as a kid. Like Beautiful Joe, Alien Hom Hominid, kind of the more interesting, like Tales of Symphonia, even I didn't have stuff like that. I did have Fire Emblem, Path of uh, Radiance, uh, but Sm Smash Brawl, and when this came out, I was very disappointed because I loved Melee. So <laughs> I don't know where you guys stand on it, but that's where I does stood. Does this have the uh, memory see, card? That oh. one does not. I wonder if the other one does. But then Melee. Stick and love this game. It is fabulous and it is complete. Curious what's in here. It's two bonus games not included in the list. I don't know what these are. Two bonus games. Super Street Fighter 2 and Donkey Kong hey! Country. That's a great couple of games right there. One of my favorite games of all time right there. You probably knew that. Specifically the second one is my favorite, but I love the first one too. And it's a great like two hour-ish co-op play if you've never played it. Chrono Trigger manual. 
protected by Earthworm Jim. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> okay. Wow. So Earthworm Jim box. Still. Oh yeah, and then we've got like the manual. Oh, and then there's an Earth Defense Force manual and PTO. That might actually make the the hundred dollar, <laughs> which is crazy. Just just <laughs> yeah. the the booklet, but I'm thinking that might make it. And then yeah, Lethal Enforcers, like... very beautiful. Super Nintendo, big box, probably makes it as well. Can't fit. Okay, we'll put it over here. <laughs> Before we go any further, I'm up here in the game room and I want to talk about something a little more serious. Facing the loss of a loved one is a very challenging experience that can lead to a roller coaster of emotions. And it's okay to feel overwhelmed. I, I know I did when I recently went through a loss myself. That's why I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp understands that grief is complex and personal. They match you with a licensed therapist who specializes in what you're going through, in most cases within 48 hours. This means that you can start getting the support you need almost immediately. I found in my experience that speaking with friends and family is absolutely invaluable, but there's something different about talking to a professional. They offer unbiased, focused guidance that's tailored just for you. They're not just someone who listens. They equip you with coping strategies and personalized plans that help navigate you through grief. With BetterHelp, it's not about replacing your support system, it's about enhancing it. You can have sessions through the comfort of your own home, through phone calls, video chat, or even just messaging, whatever works best for you. And having the flexibility like that is really crucial, especially when even leaving the house feels like a huge task. And if you ever feel like your therapist isn't the right fit, BetterHelp makes it easy to switch to someone else at no extra cost to you. If you're going through a tough time like I did, or you even just want help understanding yourself better, I highly recommend BetterHelp. To give it a try, use our link betterhelp.com C-A-T-R-P for 10% off your first month. It's a small step, but it can be a big help on your healing journey. And now, Back to the games. On to box number two, and we have some Super Nintendo. And uh, he did not ship these like this. There were nine boxes originally, and... They got them ready, so it would take forever <laughs> on bundling everything. Amazing. So I, I just gotta say, for Super Nintendo stuff, it's so nostalgic for me when I see, I think in Super Mario World, my first system as a kid was a Super Nintendo, and we picked that thing up. Two controllers, Mario World, the full bundle in the box at Toys R Us for 50 bucks. It was that late in the life. N64 had been out for a while. It was so cheap, 50 bucks on clearance. I don't know if any of you guys remember clearance like that. I remember seeing the Game Boy Micro for 20 bucks at the same Toys R Us. Tons of them, didn't want them, thought it was stupid as a kid. <laughs> Bummer, should have bought yeah. them all. Um, but here we have some CIB looks like, or at least boxed, The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare Gradius 3. You got Super Soccer, California Games 2, Top Gear 3000. That's actually, I think, pretty darn uncommon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Hundred slide, dollar I'm uncommon. I'm gonna slide that over here. I think it might, it might slide into that. Tetris and Dr. Mario. It's got to be close, but maybe not quite. Mega Man X. I'm, I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna put it there. Pretty nice one. And then we have Operation Europe. Lots of box games. They're all in collector's cases, which I love. It's a good thing, too. Good thing. My gosh. <laughs> Batman Returns. <laughs> Illusion of Gaia. It feels super heavy, so I'm guessing it's fully complete and probably would slide it into that range. Ooh. We, we got an Ease game. Wanderers from Ease 3, which these are very uncommon. Our friend Joel from Media Glitch on YouTube really, really loves the Ease games. So we're gonna slide that there, and I might hit him up about that one. But Sim Earth is gonna go over here. Power Pigs. What in the world is that? That box is in terrible condition, unfortunately. It feels box only, too. I don't think the game's there. And then Gods. The Bitmap Brothers? Interesting. I... Uh, that might not be an English game. Yeah, no, it says flip it over. Yeah, for sale in the US, Canada, yeah. Mexico, NTSC. There were some games that were definitely uncommon. There's a couple yeah. that we'll find in here that are just so out there. It was the, really hard to find information on. This is an interesting one. Um, could have significant value, I don't know. If Prince of Persia and know, then let us know. play action football. Illusion of Gaia is here. We got some NES cartridges. Ice Climber, that's a five screw. You can quickly tell just by looking at the top, the one without the tabs is the five screw. Of course, you can tell that way as well. But that oh, means- five screws. That, that is correct. Very good, Sky Guy. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> and then Bubble Bobble is also there. Got more SNES games here. So there's some cartridges of the games that were in the box, but I think those were in there too. So just doubles. So there's a lot of doubles. And you'll okay. also see that there are a lot of like, what, what do you call these? Unlicensed? Unlicensed, yeah. 
Menace Beach. Yeah, you don't see that kind of stuff every day. Um, Galactic Crusader. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've found this game before, Master Chu and the Drunken Who. I like uh, it. Got it at a garage sale once, and I, I remember that had good value. I don't think it quite would make a top 10 type of thing. Gosh, is this like a full unlicensed set? <laughs> it darns That's near set, you know, like it. The cha Challenge of the Dragon, Pest Terminator, Raid 2020. Like what in the heck am I looking at right now? We got more of them. Pyramid and Tag and Dragon. <laughs> There's more. I gotta keep 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 them rolling. King Neptune's Adventure. Pretty confident that cracks the hundred dollar shelf. And more of these might. I have no idea. These are insanely weird games. Bible Adventures and another pyramid. Another pyramid. <laughs> what? Yeah. No idea. That that'll be. Uh, Interesting to see what those are going for these days. Shockwave is another one. I've had that sealed before. Whoa. Um, from Hobby Shop Run, actually. Hmm. Uh, Castlevania Adventures of Link, Tom and Jerry. And then a couple of Marble Madness and more NES carts there. That Wait, was a fun box. What do you think about box number two? <clears throat> I like it. Um, Any for sure top teners, you think? You don't have to lock them in right now. I'm not going to lock anything in yet. Maybe okay. maybe after this next box, I'll be able to. If those were the first two boxes, I'm excited to see the last three. I don't oh, yeah, know about we, you guys. we definitely uh, a little made strategic it. Yeah. Uh, organization there. Okay. Um, box number three. <laughs> is that sealed? Don't tell me that's sealed. I just said I had this sealed. <laughs> that is sealed. <laughs> I got another one sealed. Yeah. Thanks, Jens. Right, we're going to put that up here. I think that's probably a two three hundred dollars if, if i remember right and we have n64 in here and it looks like more maybe unlicensed box so this that's what i'm talking about. we really is... couldn't find anything on this right El pal yeah couldn't find it anywhere really you don't, rare. you don't know penguin and seal it's the it's history great, the history on it's it. a great game yeah I played one i'm five, sure it's but... great chase <laughs> <laughs> i have never seen this in my life we need to do a lot of research on that if you guys know anything about this game it's not really even in price charting right Oh, no, not at all. Is, yeah, it, is really that fun. U.S. release? I don't think so. Well, it... Maybe? I don't know. I think there was one... Was there, like, one listed or something crazy? For, like, 800? Or was that a diff the other one? I don't know. It's like, you could Google it, and it's incredibly hard to find, so... Okay. It's... To the, be determined. The unlicensed yeah, we'll stuff is really hard, <laughs> yeah. as you see in your hand. Again, I have seen this one. Uh, that's going to make the shelf. Shatterhand is definitely making the shelf. Pyramid, I'm going to guess boxed it will, and then... Baby, what did I even say? Baby, baby boomer. boomer? Oh, Baby Boomer. This is a weird font. <laughs> I'm gonna put these all up here. N64, let's see what we got. Now, I feel a little bit better about my pricing on N64. Harvest Moon, baby, let's go, that's huge. I'm just gonna lock that in for now. Harvest Moon 64, number one? Okay. top shelf. I could be wrong, but uh, that one definitely has good value. Uh, Wave Race 64, Zelda Majora's Mask, and Killer Instinct Gold. These two are definitely up here. Who knows? They might fall. They might fall in that top ten. But Star Wars: Shadows of the Empire, GoldenEye, 007, Star Wars: Rogue Squadron, Ocarina of Time. That's probably about 101 dollars uh, on price charting. <laughs> we just sold one. Just sold one. <laughs> Doom 64. Ooh, Mario Kart 64. It's gonna be close. GoldenEye and Super Mario 64. I'm gonna at least have them as honorable mentions. I think they're probably. Right in that range and in that condition, which looks good. All right, yes. now Chase, I have a question for you. If you could receive these games absolutely for free and whatever you sell them for, you get 10% for, would you do it? <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> so at, at one point, and may, maybe it was for a while, uh, his deal with Nintendo was any game he sold, he'd get 10%. No cost really? to him. He just had to sell out MSRP in his store? Yep. Hey, that's, that's, that's super cool. Is that how desperate they were in uh, in Sweden? Or, I mean, it wasn't like that around here. I don't know. That's I mean, amazing. Let's show the pictures of uh, the two massive stacks of the. Uh, or was Jens just games. that much of a baller? They're like, dude, we love you. Yeah, maybe. We'll send you as much. That's. I mean, the dude I mean, wrote the what? Super Nintendo book. <laughs> Who makes that kind of deal? That's amazing. Oh, Ooh, that's Taito. Years old. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No kidding. Taito Kickmaster. Uh, very uncommon. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide that up there. I'm gonna put that on the top. Those shelf. I don't know. Taito. Lots of good games out of Taito. Yoshi. What the heck is this? Moon Ranger. This yep. is a crazy collection. That's that's. I shouldn't give it away, but that's very expensive. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I needed some help. <laughs> he hesitated too. TMNT3, uh, that's going to be over 100. And uh, hey, thanks to Alpal, I'm going to put that up here. Uh, maybe he's completely lying, but I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Little Mermaid Millionaire. Okay. Another, that's another one. That's another a, one that's like a mystery game. You can only find yeah. on like a website that has. So we'll put that over here with very, Penguin and Seal. Yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> yeah, Double Dragon three, and then Pilot Wing sixty four and ten eighty. Very nice. All right, we got GameCube, Resident Evil four, Mega Man, Metroid Prime. So many different cover arts for this one. That's the E three one. Resident Evil, Donkey Konga, and another, yeah, another Mega Man anniversary. N64 cards, gonna have to have something spectacular Let's to make our top fire. 10. We got Rush, Mortal Kombat, NBA Jam, Load Runner, Gauntlet, Warzone, No Mercy, is it what a Dash is, 1? Nope. Just regular USA, there's so a variant that is Dash 1 and is like 400 bucks. And that is the later release patched version, you could only get it by sending in for it basically. 1080 is here, Cruising USA, Perfect Dark, Mario Kart 64, I just love Mario 64. Mario Kart again. Another No Mercy, <laughs> but not a USA Dash one. Banjo, Way Race. How many Mario 64? So many. And Mario Karts. That's, that's just some good N64 games right there. Stinking love it. N64, one of the most nostalgic systems for me. Played the heck out of N64. Mario 64 was the first game that really blew my mind. The sandbox style of the game, just absolutely loved it. Wow. Box four. Let's dive in. But as we get into this one, so we saw that picture of all the N64s. Guess how many yeah. he sold on his first day of, of selling them? A hundred. 350. 350? <laughs> Isn't that insane? Oh gosh. It makes sense. They it's got in so system. many, they had to line them up in the hallway, right? Like the loading dock oh. wasn't big enough for them all. Yeah, like this stack this high. That's legit. I love it. This is box number four. We've got DS. I did not expect to see that. We've been very retro heavy so far. I guess we had a Wii game. That's the newest. But we have DS back here. That's a good one though. Ace Attorney, Apollo Justice, New Super Mario Bros, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Those all have decent value for those that don't know. Mario Kart, there's a Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. We've got some Hello Kitty. Oh, the... I, I, I was gonna get that one. It is the number two IP in the world. <laughs> Why do you think I want it? <laughs> okay, all right, I get it. <laughs> I, I would want. <laughs> Pokemon's number one. I have Pokemon too. All right. Well, I'm, I hope maybe there's Pokemon. Is there Pokemon in here? No. Let's keep opening. All right. <laughs> Frogger, Helmet Chaos, Littlest Pet Shop, Mario Hoops 3v3, Worms, Final Fantasy, and Mega Man 5. No top teners here. Okay. I don't think so. Bust Move DS. Game I can't say. Burnout Legends. That was Magnetica. Magnetica. And that was my first DS game. <laughs> wow, wow that serious. is random. Uh, Zookeeper, Pack and Roll, Ben 10, Mario 64 is there. 3DS games, Donkey Kong, Mario. Hey, there is Pokemon. Okay, all so right. There's those. I Let's mean, go. Uh, Moon and Omega Ruby are here. Final Fantasy 3. Ooh, Phoenix Wright, Trials and Tribulation. That probably has decent value. Final Fantasy 4, Smash 3DS. Pokemon Pro. All right, getting a little suspicious at this point. That's the third Pokemon after you just said no. <laughs> and I genuinely did not know that there was Pokemon. I didn't know anything that was in this collection. Final Fight, or Final Fight uh, 2, cartridge and rough looking manual there. Dragon View, Earthworm Jim. The other thing I'd like to point out, uh, dealing with him was absolutely fantastic. He noted every Amazing. single item's condition. Oh yeah. Well, thank you for, for making it easy for us. Sky Guy, I, I have to have you read this the name of this game in his voice. Hey, punk! Are you tough enough? Or, thank wait, you. wait, he kind of has some, like, drool. Hey, punk, are you tough enough? <laughs> there That's you how go. I imagine him. There you go. <laughs> um, which one would it be, the first or the second? Let us know down below. Uh, Legend of Mystical Ninja. That is a very uncommon game, and that's going to go pretty high up there, I think. And then Super Strike Eagle Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> Glory. Chrono, tr Chrono Trigger in the box. You got two of them? That one has a rough box. This one has a very nice box. Uh, both of them. Both of them are, are going up there for now. That is stinking fabulous. Fair. El, El Pal <laughs> likes to play Final Fantasy 2. I'm going to put back here in the 100 plus. 
and then we move on. Bass Masters. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. Classic. Look at that. Is that sealed? Stanley Cup is sealed. Arrow the Acrobat. Now his friend Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel has a game that is extremely expensive, complete in box. And I, if it was the one behind it, I'd freak out. But it is not. Secret of Mana <laughs> is still fantastic. And I'm going to put that back here as well. Then we have Saturday Night Slam Masters, Mickey Mania, Super Pinball, and another Mystical Ninja. Put it with its buddy. Love the, the duplicates being uh, great duplicates mm -hmm. so far. And we have, ooh, Zelda, a link to the past. Final Fantasy III, most definitely. One of the most iconic games ever, both of those. Romance IV, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I've never seen that game. That is a really cool box. I like that. And I'm, I'm gonna put that back here. And then Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, I don't think quite makes it. This is what we have so far for my top 10. I have five games that I have officially selected, Harvest Moon, Kickmaster, Moon Ranger, and both Chrono Triggers. I got a feeling a couple of these I might end up moving up, but I'm gonna wait and see what is in the hopefully grand finale box. Yes? Wait, did you guys, you didn't start with that one? No. <laughs> box number five is here, and Jens, the guy that sold us this stuff, being a Nintendo distributor at 17 years old, is kind of insane to think about. Um, it sounds like he's a super smart business guy. Actually was like number one in the country with those Nintendo 64 sold on day one that, that we mentioned, and had massive success, but the competition kind of let him to go out of business, but restart and use video games, and now he's running Retro Play, which has more of a focus on used games and making the retro games beautiful having great guarantees behind the products and selling, and he's found success in that. And I definitely resonate with that story, ad adapting to, to what makes more sense for your business model, and then kind of meeting demand and finding those customers and not driving the price down, but focusing on quality. I respect the heck out of his hustle, and I just wanted to mention that. And I also think about the beautiful like things that distributors can get, like this Super Nintendo sign. You know, I got this from a Discord member in a trade, and that thing is legit. It's double-sided, it's original. I've got that one, I've got the 3DS, 3D without the glasses up there, and then the DS sign above it. So promo signs and promo displays like this, I think this year are gonna be a huge part of what I collect. I'm hoping to make some deals on some stuff like that coming soon. But yeah, I just think they display beautifully and really are a great way to kind of like remember the nostalgic times where I could see those things in Toys R Us and other stores, Kmart and the like. But we're gonna dive in now to box five. And I'm just gonna call out a dirty liar because I see Pokemon. How? I tried hiding them. I, it just slid. Oh, I it. see yellow. I see blue. I, you can just see them a mile away. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, don't talk about those. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll start. Move on, we'll, move on. We'll start here. <laughs> Super Nintendo games. Uh, Royal Rumble is here. Zelda: Link to the Past. Smash TV. Batman. Jungle Book. We've got more cartridges. Lion King. Road Driving. Star Fox. Mario All Stars. There's an uncommon one. Super Widget. An Atlas game that has a lot of value. I can't remember if it's over 100 or not. Mega Man X as well. Carrier Aces, you don't see that every day. PTO, Batman, more Batman, and Chavez. James Bond Jr. and another Super Mario World. The JVC, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Threw you off, right? That's... Open it up. That is the size of like a VHS tape, but it's, what am I looking at right now? <laughs> You were looking at a VHS tape box. I didn't know that they made it. I thought that they only did that for N64. Oh. Yeah. Where's the VHS? I... What'd you do with it? I sold it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is a Star Wars Super Empire Strikes Back VHS box. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we have an NES... Uh, what do they call this? The NES edition? 3DS XL? Something like that. <laughs> Nintendo's thing um, is poor. I love the console. I love the console though. And this actually looks extremely clean. This is gonna be a condition upgrade for me. Um, the console that I have is in rough shape, but I do have the box for it. But we have Advanced Wars 2. That definitely has some good value. Let me know if you've played this. I know this game has a, a good following mm -hmm. and it's one I've wanted to play, so. And I think Switch just came out with the remake of Advanced Wars 1 and 2. Maybe. I think we have it on our shelf right now. <laughs> oh. Maybe I should keep one. Sweet mercy. Donkey Kong Land 2. Hey! Pokemon Blue White ESRB. Sand true. We got a first Wait, print. No, 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 no. So no? I actually found out that there are four different versions 
of that. A, tr a true first print says Pokemon it. Red on the back. One of them is oh. it. If this is a true one first print, you it. have to keep it. Oh, <gasps> playing the red version. Right oh, there. snap. Right there. But, yeah. So this, so this is, is a true legit first, print. first print. Yes. Let's go. Not a lot of people knew that. No, I, I didn't we know didn't that. We didn't either. <laughs> I did not know that. Pokemon Yellow, Black, ESRB. Uh, I can't remember the prints on this one, but that is legit. Pokemon Blue going there. Yellow going there. Loving it. Texas Hold'em. Bummer. Got to know Just, nope. when to hold them and when to fold them. <laughs> so I'm folding that one. Uh, Zelda Oracle of Ages. Let's go. It's in great shape. Look at that. WTA Tour Tennis. Oh, what a tour tennis. Tennis was my sport in high school. Mm hmm I am also a two-time ping pong cruise champion. <laughs> okay. That's how I got my job. I put it on my resume. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zelda, a link to the past. At all of our job interviews, he goes, here's my resume. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Red, white SRB. Mm -hmm. Pidgey. Pidgey Rattata. So this so is the second print. Second print. Okay. Um, <clears throat> these I'm going to put back here for over 100. Uh, and this one I'm gonna put up here. I think that puts eight. Yep, eight games I have in the top shelf. We'll see if I have to switch things around here. T2, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Determinating. Ooh. Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Silver. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go. Y'all better believe I love me some Pokemon. Cards, games, all the things. Tiny Toon, Adventure, uh, Babs Big Break, Pokemon Blue yet again. Is this another? Pokemon Blue yet again. So That's we got true Pidgey, Pidgey red. here. Red version, it says. You're looking at this one? I was looking at, okay, so this says blue version, this one says red version. So first print, second print. This is a Pidgey though in the screenshot. Wait. wait. That's but, it says, but it says red version. Says Where? Red blue. Oh, red version. Oh wait, maybe, oh crap, did we uh, mess up? No, we didn't mess up the first time. Okay. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Cause yeah, this one says, all. right here it says, Collect up to 139 different Pokemon in the red version. Mm -hmm. And then this one says, collect up to okay, 139 yeah. Pokemon playing the blue version. Later it says, it mentions the fact okay. that red version has some different stuff. And then that one. So, okay. So this is first this print. This is true, true first print. Yep. Interesting. Actually, only one is second. The other one is, is even later. Because sand true oh, and then Pidgey. Yeah. We're, we're nerds, all yeah. right? <laughs> that's, that's what's happening here. And all those are definitely going to make shelf. We got, we got another silver and gold. Is that three silvers? Sweet mercy. Mm -hmm. Two golds, three silvers, three blues. No Pokemon. Well, I had to give it to <laughs> I mean, I re respect, because I was a little disappointed, and now I'm super excited. <laughs> Pokemon Yellow, no ESRB on this one. There's a lot of different prints. Uh, I'll put that up there. <laughs> it's going to be tough to, to lock in the top 10. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Ooh, Mario Golf Advanced Tour. Sealed? Sealed. And this is uh, one of my brother's favorite games of all time. This is a fabulous role-playing game golf game uh it is a shame that the switch version didn't do it in adventure mode like that though the switch version is still a blast for a local party and all that <clears throat> wario land which is super mario land 3 and then we have leaf green that feels fully complete and then metroid 2 that's a heavy right there that is that is definitely a heavy i'm going to i think i have 10 here maybe nine three five seven nine I'm just gonna put this up there. You've got a lot of games to consider, brother. I I do, and I could have royally screwed up. I'm gonna put this back here, and then I'm also gonna put this back here, since it's sealed. But that's what I'm gonna have as my top 10, and let's see how many I got out of the 10 that are the actual. Words. Nailed it. <laughs> Let me know how you guys think I did, what I missed, if I missed anything glare glaringly obvious or if I should bring anything from down there to up, but we're gonna find out right now with Alpal, the official top 10. I'm gonna start with number, let's start with number 10 and work our way to number one. I'm gonna start with number 10 in this bottom right corner of the second shelf. Okay. Number 10 uh -huh. is not here. Dang. Number 10, Dragon, Dragon View. Dragon View, interesting. I wondered about it. What is that worth? It's like 270. 10th Two, game is 270. Good night. Well, there you go. There's number 10. One of these is definitely wrong at this point. <laughs> uh, number nine. Leaf green. Come on, wow. Leaf green. Wow. All right. All right. At least I had it on the 100 shelf. <laughs> 0 for 2, though. 
That's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is he three? Oh, for a three. Mercy. Did we start in the wrong direction? Okay. That is number eight. Okay. Right. Number seven and number six is Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Yellow. I did have that. Six and seven and six. There we go. And, right and then we'll go up to the next shelf actually at this point. Next is red. Pokemon Red. Number five. Number five. Okay. There's no way Chrono Triggers are wrong, so I must have had something else wrong. I put the wrong one there. Pokemon Red. <laughs> <laughs> number four is a weird one. Makes sense you didn't know it. It's Menace Beach. No kidding. Yeah. Menace Beach. Okay. And then you're welcome. Number three is Moon Ranger. Dang. That's, that's like that's easily over 400. Dang. Wow. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick these out for you because. So I will say, Kickmaster was 11th. It was 11. It was 11. Okay, at least so, that was close. And then it's gotta be Chrono it's, Trigger. It's yeah, both Chrono Trigger. So the yep. better Chrono Trigger, number one and the second Chrono Trigger, number two. So roughly the top two shelves here, the value is gonna be right around $4,000 by, by what you just kind of said. Maybe 3,500, but yep. even still, that's insane. And the entire collection price charting value, what was that? Like 17. $17,000. I had a stinking great time unboxing this beautiful collection. Shout out to Jens from Sweden, Nintendo distributor. Apparently an amazing guy with communication and everything. The stories were unbelievable. The book is amazing. Uh, and let me know if you want Alpo to continue spending my money because I think he's doing a good job. Hopefully you guys do too. We're doing stuff like this all the time on the Caterby Crew second channel and on this channel with the sealed Game Boy collection we just recently bought. We'll link that video here at the end for you guys to check out if you haven't seen it. And if you're watching this on January 19th, we are live right now on what, 9 a.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. Eastern selling everything that you see here. It's gonna be unbelievable and giving away Pokemon Yellow, Nintendo Switch, PS5 Slim with Spider-Man 2, and 10 sealed Switch games. So come and hang with us if you happen to see this in time. But that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.